out. Now, acting national chairman of the New Patriotic Party and board chairman of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC, Frederick Amable, on a Sempa FM's Ecosi Send program on Friday, 11 May, said, quote, I am supplying buses to all the constituency branches of the NPP. Each constituency will receive a bus from me personally for commercial purposes, just to raise money for the party activities, end quote. He's been speaking to Daniel Darzi on the Super Morning Show on this. Some part of were interviewing me in tree. Was I speaking English or speaking tree? You mixed it. You mixed it. But I don't remember specifically saying I am buying bus, but I definitely said I'm helping to procure buses. 275 for the various courses through efforts that we were making. I was not making it alone, with honest. But definitely I was playing a lead role okay. to ensure that we have 275. It's not just donation. We are procuring for us through some facility to make sure that the constituency will have some means of earning money to the constituency coffers to, and they take other projects that are activities. But of course, I think it's a very laudable project that one thought of and one seeks to, imp one seeks to Im implement. And uh, some have s received it from various angles and uh, interpreting it in various ways. But the intention is very clear. We want mm. to help. It's part of some affairs have thought of it at some leadership. That in the modern age, 21st century, Parties must depend on themselves. Maybe self-financing. You should want to take projects that could bring earnings so that all their programs, conferences, uh, training their, uh, taking care of their offices and those who work for them, sometimes devote their whole adult life for a party and so forth. They must be paid. It's not just volunteering to have the party. Sometimes you as an individual volunteering to have the party in the offices while others are working. Then they must find a way of paying you. And it's not a question of looking for money. It's not a question of uh, always going begging money bags. Those who maybe have some kind of spare money to give you. And then when you are in government, you feel obliged and some policies that you even want to implement fall on behalf of the people objectively. If you are not careful, you may be uh, somehow influenced to do it one way or the other one. You don't feel like doing it that way. I think it's, a, it's not only with P MPP, but NDC and all other parties should emulate it. We should seek to deepen democracy by making the party strong. Some have suggested in the past that the government may somehow help the parties, but others have opposed it strongly. That the parties, they should develop themselves. They should find their own means of doing it. And invariably, if you are not careful in this country, it may be limited to only two parties. Because if you are what is happening is that other parties are fading away. Mm. And that is financing their activities. Okay. It's not easy. Okay. Some have not come up with innovative ways. And, but that's also partly because of the history of our country. The military came in various stages. And therefore, parties have not had the opportunity to develop consistently and uh, uh, with, with continuity that people don't seek to invest in their parties. And once a while we come together and use the parties as an electoral machinery. And when we win, sometimes we, we, we uh, relegate the party to the background. Okay. That is why I'm saying the parties might be self-financing. Mm -hmm. They can have control of a government. They can have control of their membership and develop a cadre of good, devoted, strong, determined, and intelligent people to help rule this country. That is one reason why. You are doing it, this. You are right. doing this. That's so right. you said you are getting a facility together with us. We've organized for a facility for that. Where are you getting it from? It, it's from a financial institution, which for some good reasons, mm -hmm. we've agreed with them that there are 
when we haven't finished it, there wouldn't be too many, uh, there, there wouldn't be too good reason for you to disclose. You know, they say money is shy. Those who deal with you over money and so forth and so on, they don't want too much noise over their names. They don't want you to be talking too much about it because uh, they, they have various mm. uh, customers. They deal with clientele all over. And some, if they think that they are dealing with you or they are dealing with this one and they don't like you, they may shy away from dealing with them. So for one reason or the other, you don't like some, we don't want to talk too much. But for sure, if you organize it, for sure, we are bringing in, but to help. Some even think that we are dashing it. Some even think we are just donating it. No. It's quite, it's, it involves a little, mm -hmm. you know, quite a lot. And therefore, we are organizing to make sure that uh, it's a win-win situation for all those involved, all the stakeholders. That is the party people, the constituencies will benefit. The financial institution that may be either syndicated or do it all alone will also benefit mm. and of course i will also derive that kind of not only me but my party the leadership and my friends who will be happy you will be talking about it maybe it will be a good example for even our open and strong openness mdc to copy you said it involves quite mm -hmm. a lot well that's not what i mean but i can't be How specific much? on the term i can't be very specific some have put it in the public domain and speculation on it but i've kept quiet my my friends uh, richard and co have asked me don't talk about that but leave it let that why not we don't want to talk too much as i said money is shy it's not uh, some if you are not careful some have even getting a bit excited and they say hey it's evidence of poverty in this country and people are not innovative and they don't see others getting you know, David to bring ideas. So immediately you do that, they start to say, maybe you have gone into government to steal money. Maybe you have gone to rob somebody or sell drugs to bring it. But that's not the case. We have financial institutions ready to help, provided we come up with a good package, a good proposal. And they look at it and they see. They look at it and they analyze it. And they look at the figures and they think it is good. That's what but in, a, in, in, in the spirit of transparency, you would not like to I'm saying that let us know. <clears throat> transparency doesn't mean I should come and tell you what plans I have all the time. I don't, I don't even need to discuss to you in detail the plans I have for my party in terms of what to do, strategy, and so forth. I'll begin.